Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, I'm going to go over what rides Six Flags Magic Mountain could be removing in the future. Not necessarily in the near future, but just let's say within the next five to maybe ten years. And I'm going to start off uh, here, of course, with Tidal Wave, the most obvious choice, since because there's markers um, already on the site, and if you want to see that Six Flags Magic Mountain update video I did, I'll link it right up to the top. Um, of this video. The Tidal Wave is just old, it's rusty, it really doesn't deserve to be there. It's not getting maintained. Um, that stream is literally maybe, what, 500 feet or so away from the ride. It's a much better water ride. Um, this ride, if you sit in the front, it doesn't even get you wet. It really does not need to be there. It does not give um, high ridership. And also, it's not even in operation all the time. Um, not even in the hot months doesn't seem to be an operation and when it is again you know, lots of empty boats unless it's really hot outside and again you get more wet on the bridge than you do on the actual ride so i think tidal wave is definitely going you know, especially though because of those markers and uh, a power splash potentially power loop will be coming into place in 2021 if all the financials are correct moving on to the next ride well this one's actually a coaster i think might be removed not soon so don't worry guys don't worry i don't think it's gonna move like soon but definitely in the next 10 years simply because of course this is the last arrow seven looper left in the entire world and it's gonna get difficult to maintain and very expensive to maintain again since arrow doesn't make these parts anymore so eventually it's gonna make more sense to demolish um viper rather than continue to maintain it unfortunately a lot of people like this coaster i think it's a little bit rough and but i love uh what is this the six pack skyland and i love um the sh sheer scale and it's pretty special i think that six packs is the last one of these aero seven loopers um left on the entire planet so i think i'm a firm believer that it should stay as long as possible but i am a little bit worried for its future because it again is a maintenance and parts it gets really expensive when uh especially when when the company does not make those anymore he needs custom parts basically and the price goes up and six bags uh, doesn't like to spend a lot of money so i say by 2030 i'd be surprised if this coaster is still standing moving on to the next one it's kind of like a this next ride it's a two in one and i firmly believe all these types of attractions from all six flags parks and all theme parks you know, should be removed um i particularly don't like them just that i particularly don't like that you have to pay for them and that's when i really hope this gets removed this is the slingshot attraction um or actually there's two names there's like two of them in six flags and there's two different names like a bungee jump and a slingshot both of them should be demolished because they're both have upcharge attractions they take up valuable space at this point for six flags west coast racers redid that whole area right by these two um slingshot type attractions the upcharge attractions and i think they should be completely gone the only one that i think is for sure saying is the go-karts and the pacific speedway that's an upcharge attraction that got the cars got repainted and the track got rethemed and yeah renamed to be part of as part of the underground and there's no real valuable space there because West Coast Racers is hovering over it, so that upcharge attraction can stay. <laughs> but these other upcharge attractions, the Slingshot and Bungee, should definitely go away. Another one that might go away, um, and again, pure speculation um, based on Green Lantern being gone and Aquaman potentially coming to that spot. Um, I think maybe the Six Flags might want might want to revamp the entire DC universe, maybe from that whole area, from, from Batman to the DC universe sign, and that include Wonder Woman and the Flash attractions right here. Um, again, not there's nothing for any of these. There's nothing except maybe Tidal Wave. There's for other four. There's nothing confirmed that they're going away. These are just my suggestions of what Six Fans should remove next as space is becoming limited they do have a lot of open space though um for additional attractions to not remove anything but these are things especially this upcharge attractions that i think should definitely be just going away people shouldn't have to pay <laughs> what 89 dollars for a one day ticket and then have to pay again for something else right an attraction everything else everything else at the park is free 
But what do you guys think? Comment your suggestions below. What do you want Six Flags to remove, Magic Mountain specifically, <laughs> to remove next? And what do you think they will remove next? If anything, do you think they'll continue to build on open space? But they'll eventually have to remove something. So what do you think they'll remove next? Comment your thoughts below. Um, and what would you like to see replaced for the things they remove? Subscribe for more theme park updates. I have videos every single day on different topics, um, fun facts to get us right through this quarantine. And when the quarantine's over, we'll be right back in the parks. As always, have a fantastic day.